Everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Sunday, May 2nd, 2021. Time is 6.51 p.m. Yes, Jersey time, no other time. I'm still in New Jersey. Some of you may want to know how you can be in Jersey time. Well, Jersey time is a location and it's a state of mind. My mind is in New Jersey. And speaking of New Jersey, we got another one of those heroes. Now, this hero is a different branch of the hero gang. This one works for the Corrections Department at Monmouth County. And surprisingly, none of the county Facebook pages like the Sheriff's Department or the Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office mentioned this little story. Just goes to show you, they are protecting one another. This story should have been on the prosecutor's page. This person should be arrested for official misconduct. And I'll explain to you once I read the story. Okay, so this is reported in the patch. It is dated uh, April 30th, so was that Friday? And it reads as follows. Monmouth County Corrections Officer charged with shoplifting. Wow. Now, you'd be shocked when you find out how much she's making that she had to go shoplifting. I'll get to that in a little bit. And here's the story right here. Let me scroll this up. There she is. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's a female. The name is Suzanne. There's the story right there. All right, let's find out what happened. Suzanne Simone, 53, of Ocean Township, a 22-year employee of Monmouth County Corrections Institute in Freehold, was charged following multiple instances, not just one. This wasn't an impulse thing. This was, she went back and did more of uh, shoplifting. Monmouth County Corrections Officer is facing criminal charges after reportedly shoplifting at a West Long Branch Home Improvement Store. Authorities said, well, there's only one in, in uh, West Long Branch that I'm aware of that has the scan machines, and that would be Home Depot. I don't know why they didn't mention Home Depot. Suzanne Simone, 53, of Ocean Township, a 22-year employee of the Monmouth County Correction Institute in Freehold, was charged with third-degree shoplifting in connection with multiple instances where she failed to pay for items at a local home improvement store, according to the Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office. The charges follow an investigation by the Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office, which revealed that Simone skipped scan items. I mean, she, she's not really she's making pretend she is, but she isn't. It's stupid because they all got cameras on. I work for Lowe's. They all got cameras. <sighs> items scanned multiple small items and not scanning large items or pretending to scan them and leaving the store without paying for them on multiple occasions. The estimate value of the stolen goods totaled $600. And $61. In one instance, Simone was wearing her uniform while committing a theft, prosecutor said. That's why I say she should be arrested for official misconduct because she used her uniform. And you know the reason she used the uniform so that nobody would pay any attention to her as a cover. That's just my assumption or assertion. Simone is currently suspended from her position at the Mom County Correctional Institute in Friel. That's not good. No one is above the law, said Mom County Prosecutor Christopher J. Gramacioni. In a statement, it's essential to our criminal justice system that officers maintain the public's trust. This officer broke the law that she was sworn to uphold all over a measly $600. I agree with them. This conduct will not be tolerated and sustained on the men and women in law enforcement who work tirelessly to serve their communities with honor. Any member of law enforcement who violates their oath does a disservice to the public and their fellow officers and will be held fully accountable, said Sheriff Gold, Sean Gold. Well, that sounds a little like copaganda to me because I know what the old story is all the time. They arrest them, charge them, and then they get a sweetheart deal. Anyone, anyone with additional information regarding the incident is urged to contact the Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office. Anyone who feels the need to remain anonymous but has information about the crime can submit blah, blah, blah. Well, let me tell you something. Let me get 
off this link and get onto here because I put down how much this turd makes. Well, let me see what happened here. Well, I know she's making $115,000. Let me see if I did something wrong here. Well, anyway, she's making a, if I remember right, she's making $115,000 a year. 22 years, she doesn't, I don't think she's got enough time in for retirement, though they may, because I know they changed the law here in New Jersey that these uh, heroes can uh, get out of, if they're in a certain union, they can get out early. But this is, this, I mean, I'm assuming she works in jail. This is MCCI, so that's the jail. I'm assuming she probably works in the woman's section. And she's probably batting on the other team, if you know what I mean. But how stupid. See, again, you got to have this charge in the book called stupidness. Because what she did was stupid. You always have to ask yourself. If I get caught, is it worth the price I will pay? So let me let me see here. I didn't do too good in math. I didn't make it past Algebra 2. Uh, let's see. You make $115,000 a year and you have a pension coming with health benefits and everything. And you're going to steal $651 worth of stuff and jeopardize that job. What do you think, people? Did you all come up with the same conclusion I did? It's not worth it! idiot but the bigger crime of this or maybe equal to the crime of this is the fact that the mom county prosecutor's office is not posting anything about this so either they're covering for this person or maybe she's going to get charged with more charges like the official misconduct for using her uniform things she make you go hmm all right, so we'll put the link in the description. You can read the story yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Oh, but just one other thing. I did message Monmouth County prosecutors. I always sent them a private message asking them why this was not posted. Now, I conveniently posted a link on some of their posts so the story will come up, but they're not talking about it right now. So I can only hope that more things are coming down the line. And this turd here, this blue zero hero... Not really, she's not out there really patrolling the neighborhood. She's in there in the jails keeping all the, uh, the girls in line, I guess. But she's still on the public dole. And she still wears a uniform and is in the position to control people because she's in the jail. Hopefully, she's going to get fired. None of this deal-making crap. John Van Dyke for New Jersey Exposed. Till next time, people.